What does a man need to do to get you guys to notice him? Very simple. We want a man who acts like a man, mm -hmm. who's manly, who takes care of things. Leader. Ooh, I don't need you to kill an alligator with your hands, but I need to feel so feminine around you because you are so masculine that I can turn my brain off because I know you've got it. Yeah. I trust you. I trust your intellect. I trust your character. I trust that I can close my eyes and follow you blindly and I'm going to be happy about where I end up. That's what it's about and we're all set. Your certainty and her desire has an inverse relationship. The higher the certainty level that you give, okay, the higher your certainty level rises where she knows that you're certain about her and that you like her, the more certainty you show, the lower her desire. The less certainty you show, the higher her desire. Certainty and desire has an inverse relationship. The third wave of modern feminism, emerging in the early 1990s, is characterized by its diversity, inclusivity, and a broader range of issues compared to its predecessors. This wave extends beyond the earlier focus on legal equality and systemic sexism to include racial, social, and economic justice. It embraces individuality, body positivity, sexual liberation, and the exploration of identity beyond traditional binaries. Third wave feminists leverage media and pop culture to disseminate their messages, making feminism more accessible to the younger generation. Here's the reality. Women do not hate nice men. That's just not true. But what we do dislike is men who lack masculinity. Now, a lot of nice guys tend to be men who also lack other masculine traits that women find attractive. And what they do is they blame their nice nature as to why they have no success with women, when really it has nothing to do with their niceness, but everything to do with their lack of masculinity. And it's quicker and easier to blame it on your nice nature. But really, if you take a man who is super, super nice, but he's still masculine, he's still risk taking, he's still a leader, he still uh, has boundaries. When you take a man who still has masculine traits and is nice, he ends up having hyper success with women. But when you take a man who's nice by default because he can't exercise his masculinity, of course women are not going to find that attractive. Pop culture, meanwhile, has been both a platform for feminist messages and a field of contention. Music, television, movies and social media have spotlighted feminist ideals, from empowering anthems by artists like Beyonce to nuanced portrayals of women's experiences in shows like the Handmaid's Tale. However, the relationship between feminism and pop culture is complex. While pop culture can amplify feminist voices, it also operates within a capitalist framework that can commodify and dilute feminist messages for mass consumption. Critiques of the third wave and its interaction with pop culture often focus on this commodification, arguing that the commercialization of feminist messages may strip them of their radical potential. Others argue that the emphasis on individual empowerment and choice overlooks systemic issues, such as economic inequality and structural racism, that continue to oppress many women. Shakira holds nothing back when asked about her thoughts on Barbie, the Greta Gerwig-directed blockbuster that topped the 2023 box office with $1.4 billion worldwide and earned eight Oscar nominations, including Best Picture. The music icon said she somewhat agreed with her two sons who strongly disliked Barbie, suggesting that it was a piece of pop culture that robbed men of their possibility to be men. My sons hated it, Shakira said. They felt that it was emasculating, and I agree to a certain extent. I'm raising two boys. I want me to feel powerful too, while respecting women. I like pop culture when it attempts to empower women without robbing men of their possibility to be men to also protect and provide. I believe in giving women all the tools and the trust that we can do it all without losing our essence, without losing our femininity. I think that men have a purpose in society and women have another purpose as well, the singer added. We complement each other and that compliment should not be lost. Just because a woman can do it all doesn't mean she should, the interviewer asked. Why not share the load with people who deserve to carry it, who must carry it as well? Shakira answered. Shakira's interview is not the first time a public figure has perceived Barbie as emasculating. 
The fantasy comedy ruffled the feathers of some conservative figures during its theatrical release, with podcaster Matt Walsh condemning it as the most aggressively anti-man feminist propaganda fest ever put to film. Bill Maher later slammed the film as man-hating. Gerwig, who also co-wrote the Barbie script with Noah Baumbach, weighed in on the backlash in an interview with the New York Times, in which she said she never expected such a response. Certainly there's a lot of passion, the filmmaker added. My hope for the movie is that it's an invitation for everybody to be part of the party and let go of the things that aren't necessarily serving us as either women or men. I hope that in all of that passion, if they see it or engage with it, it can give them some of the relief that it gave other people. I don't believe in equality. I believe in equity. Mm. And there's a huge difference. What's the difference? Equality is you and me, we're dating. You make half a million dollars a year. I make $50,000 a year. We go 50-50 on our rent on our apartment. It's equal. It's not fair. Whereas equity is if you and I are dating, you make half a million dollars, I make $50,000, and you pay for most of the rent, and I pay for my portion. And it is prorated based on how much we make. Because it is then a comparable burden on our financial situation. Mm -hmm. It's the same percentage of your income as it is for me. However, defenders of third wave feminism and its engagement with pop culture might argue that the movement has expanded the space for women to define themselves on their terms. By challenging traditional norms and embracing diversity, third wave feminism offers a vision of womanhood that is fluid, multifaceted, and unconstrained by societal expectations. This perspective sees the movement's engagement with pop culture not as a dilution of feminist ideals, but as a necessary evolution to meet the challenges women face today. When a man wants to get married, he's only getting married truly for one reason. Because let me be honest with you women, the men can work and provide for themselves. He does not necessarily need you to cook, clean, and have sex because he can get sex from multiple women. They're giving it out. A lot of them can cook and clean. Their mother taught them or they can pay someone to get it. The culture is telling them do not get married. So why would a man go past what the culture is telling him and choose to have a wife? Because with a wife, you can now have love, you can now have nurturing, you can have support, you can have affection. This is what he can't get from a roommate. So if that is not what you're leading with in your relationships with men is love, support, nurturing, and respect. This is why your husband is now pulling away because in the beginning you gave him those things. But as you got into the relationship, you got bitter, you got resentful, you start seeing his flaws, start counting that against him, you start measuring him against other men, and now you're pulling back on the love, the affection, and the nurturing. It's crucial to acknowledge the breadth of experiences and perspectives within feminism. The third wave's focus on inclusivity and intersectionality has highlighted the importance of listening to and amplifying a diverse range of voices. As with any social movement, feminism is continually evolving, and its interaction with pop culture is a dynamic and ongoing conversation. In conclusion, the impact of the third wave of modern feminism and pop culture on the natural essence of women is a multifaceted issue. While there are valid critiques regarding commodification and the potential for certain voices to dominate the conversation, it's also clear that the movement has made significant strides in promoting a more inclusive and diverse understanding of womanhood. As society progresses, the dialogue between feminism and pop culture will undoubtedly continue reflecting the changing landscapes of both movements and the ongoing struggle for gender equality. That's all for today on Alpha Male. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications. You can support the channel by becoming a member or sending a super chat. Share your thoughts in the comments. See you tomorrow.